How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Stephen Crowder's YouTube channel being totally demonetized after a negative campaign from a journalist over at Vox. Now, what this means is he cannot run any more ads on his channel and make money from it, which is a lot of our chief sources of income. It's not his. He has a mug club, so he's good with that. He also cannot collect Super Chat on the channel. And if you don't know what that is, when a person is live streaming on YouTube, you are able to donate to them directly. He can't do that anymore if he was because Super Chat is linked directly to monetization. Now, it's not just him that's affected and it's not just an entire channel that has been demonetized in each situation as it is with Crowder. You got other channels that have been totally demonetized like Red Ice TV and James Alsup. But then you also have people that have had videos deleted or put into a purgatory state, which means you can't comment on it. You can't like it. You can't really share it. If I'm not mistaken, all you can do is pretty much watch it. And that's about it. Uh, Drunken peasants fell into this category. Gavin McInnes, Milo Yiannopoulos, you know, the, the crew that that kind of crowd, they've been affected by this. Now, I've not been hit by this as of yet. And. Knock on wood, hopefully I don't, but as of right now, I'm good money. All my videos are monetized as normal. I don't have any real issues, but let's get to the meat of this particular topic. Why did Crowder get demonetized and what does it mean going forward? Now, there was a back and forth between him and a journalist over at Vox. Now, the guy claims that Crowder had been harassing him for two years on his channel. Now, I don't know anything about that. I've not been watching his content to keep up with that whole situation. So it could be true. It could be false. I doubt that it's true, but I'm not going to sit here and say it's true or it's false. It really doesn't even really matter when it comes to what YouTube did, but I'll get to that in a moment. So as a result of the alleged harassment from Crowder, the guy went on Twitter and said a bunch of things about Crowder, how he needs to be removed and how his platform is full of hatred. I suppose this went viral. It got a lot of vibes on it. So YouTube had to respond. And what they did was rather than removing Crowder's channel, like they did with Alex Jones, they put him in a state where he can't have any ads on his channel. And the reason why they did that, in my humble opinion, is because it's not even about what the person said, if it's true or false, as it relates to Crowder harassing them. It's not even about Crowder being a bad guy or a bad actor on the platform. It's about the advertisers threatening potentially to pull their ads away from YouTube totally. This goes back to the whole PewDiePie kerfuffle. Remember that during the ad apocalypse. Now, what PewDiePie did was make the platform look like it was a place to harbor a bunch of hatred. They harbored a bunch of people that were bad actors and PewDiePie was the ringleader, the biggest guy with the most subscribers. It just looked really bad. So what the advertisers did was they took their ads off the platform. They were like, look, we can have this guy be on here talking about Jew this and Jew that and have Coke ads right next to it. We're just not going to be able to do it. So a lot of big companies pulled their ads that made YouTube lose a lot of money. Therefore, they came up with a few ways to get around it. They had Super Chat. Uh, you can do the YouTube premium that can go towards, you know, the creators. There were ways around this whole situation to make up for the money that was lost in the ad apocalypse. All of it was caused by PewDiePie saying a negative thing and then the journalist picking up on it and writing the hit piece and saying, oh, well, YouTube harbors racist. YouTube harbors hate. So YouTube had to respond in order to keep the advertisers happy. It's the same thing going on right now. This guy from Vox pins a piece or he goes and talks on Twitter. It gets a lot of attention. You got the people that have the ads looking saying, hey, you got to fix this or we're going to pull the ads again. So they just decided to remove ads from Crowder. Rather than removing him or have the advertisers flee and kill the whole platform. Crowder has like 3.8 million subs. YouTube makes like 55% of your ad revenue quite as it's kept. They also make 30% of your super chat. So they make plenty of money off of you, but they're looking at it like we might as well sacrifice him for the greater good rather than allowing him to stay, have the ads be gone regardless and it not just affect him, but it affect the entire platform. If you ask YouTube, they won't tell you that 
That's just my opinion based upon observation. I've seen the same thing play out time and time again. Alex Jones, it played out with him. And it doesn't help that you have conservative-leaning white males involved because society already has a general narrative out there that white males, especially straight conservative white males, are the devil, they're trash, they're the biggest oppressors in the whole history of the universe. You couple that with negative PR from the mainstream media with billions of dollars of money behind it, what can you really do if you YouTube? Because when that happens, you're going to have a big negative PR firestorm. You're going to have the advertisers start to get nervous, potentially boycott, and you're going to lose money as YouTube itself because the majority of their cash, like 80 to 90% comes from ads. So what are you going to do? I don't blame YouTube here as much as I blame the advertisers. Well, not even the advertisers, more the media. The leftist control mainstream media is the problem. They put out a bunch of hit pieces against conservatives, never against liberals, because let's be clear, there's plenty of material to attack the liberals on. You've seen some of the things that Stephen Colbert has said on his show, uh, some of the Netflix late night people, Chelsea Handlers, your Bill Mars. They've said some pretty egregious things about conservatives. I think Bill Maher even dropped the N word one time. See, there's no hit pieces written about them. Imagine if there were she was on the other foot and there was a conservative that said something like that. Imagine if it were Sean Hannity talking about N word this, N word that, like the same way Bill Maher did. It doesn't matter if it was in the comedy routine, if it was on HBO, CBO, UFO, NWO. It doesn't matter. There would be a negative hit piece out there. It'd be cause to boycott them. That would be the general thing. But since it's a liberal, oh, that's just Bill. He doesn't mean anything by it. That's just Chelsea Handler. She doesn't mean anything by it. That's just even Colbert. He doesn't mean anything by it because the left dominates media. It was hilarious to see Vox talking about the right dominates media. How? How did we dominate media? There's only one channel on TV that is right leaning and that's Fox News. Everything else is left leaning. From your national to your local is all left leaning and they all support the left. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to affect me going forward. I don't think that it will. Like I said, I knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't. It may affect other creators. If you have a creator that you like to watch and they're a white male, they lean conservative, it could affect them. In a nutshell, the reason why Carter got demonetized off of YouTube and others is because the leftist media waged kind of a campaign against them and they were successful in being able to get YouTube's attention, probably because you had the people from the ad services saying, hey, we can't have this guy. This is in the way. This is bad PR. I don't want to have my product next to him in a commercial on YouTube. That's going to look bad on us because if y'all don't take the ads off, the people that are trying to get Crowder removed are going to shift from him to the advertisers that happened on Fox news with Tucker Carlson. He said something people got offended by, and then it was his campaign to boycott his advertisers. And a few people fled. They were like, yo, we don't want the PR. We just trying to make money. I think that's where YouTube is. Now I would be naive to say that YouTube does not have a anti-conservative bias. I mean, of course they do, but it's much less than the mainstream media who is the biggest problem here. So that's pretty much all I got. What say you? Do you think that Stephen Crowder was justly demonetized from YouTube? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or do you think it was unjust? Who is to blame here? Is it Crowder himself for the content? I don't think so. Is it YouTube itself for doing it? I'm not really sure. Maybe they share some responsibility, but I think at a certain point their hand was forced. It's the leftist media who hate on conservatives. They don't hate on leftists, which is why the Young Turks is allowed to be part of YouTube TV. You know, I have YouTube TV, 50 bucks a month, 70 channels, not an ad. I'm just saying Young Turks is right there in a the lineup right next to CNN, ABC, Fox, etc. They are YouTube's official news channel, a proprietary thing of YouTube, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. The truth is that Chank from Young Turks and Alex Jones are the same person, in my opinion. That's how I look at them. 
this in alternate universes. But if you're a conservative leaning guy like Alex Jones, you get banned from the whole internet at once. If you're a left leaning guy like Chunk Yogurt, you're able to have a TV program, a TV channel, you know, dedicated to your platform that you built up over the years saying some really egregious, nasty things about conservatives for years. You get to have your own TV show because the left will not pin any kind of negative hit pieces against you. But that's pretty much all I got to say. And whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Peace.